In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to change or add a face to a video using Adobe After Effects. For this tutorial, we will be working on this free stock footage. Over here, let's add meme facial expressions on the person as he is surfing. For that, we will use some of these meme faces, which can be downloaded from here. The idea is to keep changing the faces as the guy is surfing, starting from a concentrated meme face when he's trying to stand up on the surfboard, followed by a smile meme face, and lastly, the rage meme face when he falls off. So let's drag and drop the meme face layer on the top of the video footage layer. Once done, let's scroll down and locate the concentrated meme face. Once located, we will make a selection around it by using the selection tool available in the toolbar menu. Over here, we will pick up the ellipse tool, and now all we have to do is simply draw over the meme face like so. After Effects will automatically mask the shape's path. You can now change the position of the shape according to the meme here. Once the selection mask is applied, let's reduce the size of the layer so that we can position the image on the surface face. To do that, make sure the image layer is selected, and now press the S key. You should now see the scale option appearing here. Now let's change the scale to 18%. With that done, let's position the meme face over the surface face. Now we will reduce the opacity of the image so that we can see the background and position the image accordingly. For that, make sure the image layer is selected, and now press the T key. You will now notice the opacity option appearing over here, so let's reduce the opacity to 30%. Next, let's bring up the position option by pressing the P key. Notice that as we change the position of the image, the values here change. That means you can use these values to change the position of the image on the screen. Moving on, now what we need to do is animate the position of the image so that it follows the surfer's face. For that, let's click on the Position Stopwatch icon. Now all you have to do is move forward in the timeline and change the position of the image. Make sure that at each frame the image should be positioned over the surfer's face. Just keep manually moving the timeline forward and keep changing the position of the image according to the video. At this frame, we will change the meme face. So before we add the second image, let's clip the image layer timeline here. For that, simply press the Alt key together with the right bracket key. Now let's change the opacity back to 100 and drag the timeline forwards. See over here, we seem to have missed a spot. That's why it's a good idea to keep checking back in case you might have missed a movement. So let's simply drag the image on the face and that's it. Now let's move the timeline forwards, and at this frame right here, we will insert the second meme face. So let's move to the library and drag the meme image on the top of the layers panel. With that done, let's locate the happy meme face. Once found, we will use the same technique that we did before for masking the meme face, that is, using the ellipse tool and drawing over the image. Remember, you can alter the anchor points of the ellipse, like so, to better cover the image. Now let's press the Alt key together with the left square bracket key to crop at the current frame. This way the image will start from this frame only. After that, we'll use the same steps that we did before to position the image over the face and to animate it according to the video. Over here, you can see that we have successfully added the second meme face over the video. At the end, do remember to clip the image timeline by pressing the Alt key along with the right bracket key. From this frame, you can start with the rest of the meme faces. At the end, when the surfer is about to fall, you can see that we have added the rage meme face over here. Now let's render the sequence, and here you can see the entire clip. And that's it. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.